up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the prick in my bed. <laughs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! Okay, homie? What happened? Guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. The tennis coach? Oh, that's fucked up, man. You rich dudes, homie. You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. He gone left. He ain't slipping this noose. What is he doing? Hey, get out the way! Mother! Fuck! Fuck, man, I think we lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Ah, the fuck is he? Ain't you looking? It's this track here. Hey! You know one of these fucking houses? Hey, keep your eye out. That's his car, right there. Little prick's up there, look. Oh, shit, Coach doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, what? You got the wrong idea, man! Banging married women's a hobby, not a fucking profession. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Yeah. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! This hard damn flipped already! Man, get some force on that motherfucker! Man, I think that's just coming down, man! Yeah, he gonna feel this one, dog. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Fuck! Come on! Fuck, man! Fuck! Oh, we did it! Fuck his ass! Yeah, fuck him! But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. Now that's an expensive bitch ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a plug. You! Yes, dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fuck. Shit, we got some heavies on this, homie. Oh, that was quick. All right, I'll make deal with this. All right, I'll try. Let's move. You got a piece? Oh, you can handle these guys. Go! This a misunderstanding, motherfucker! Shit, man! Get rid of him! You got 
got this, Michael? I will kill you, asshole! Oh, You in control of this, huh? Got one of those bastards! <laughs> Fuck, man! These assholes are mean! Come on, kid! You gonna shoot them too? <laughs> hey! The essays is booked! Okay, we go back to my house to think about this. Wow! Shit! You did good! I mean... I don't know if you hit anyone, because your game's all over the place, but I appreciate the backup. Ah, oh, thank you. Are you sure I didn't hit? Uh, maybe go to a sh Maybe go to a shooting range and work on your aim before we go out again. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. I got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin, maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo, it, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I was thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Fuck me. Shit. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker.
Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know? Shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. My son. <laughs> my daughter. My wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance. Or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person, and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. 
What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? Who exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich, I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Hey, wait a minute, that's the shot. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. Th this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay.